gosh, I'm so hungry. Uh, how long before? Flat Earth. Like, probably days. Not, uh... It turns out the core of globe Earth is nothing like we were told in school, and there's plenty of proof of this. Say what? And so scientists say that the globe Earth core is 4,000 miles beneath the Earth. And science has even completely mapped out the inner workings of the Earth. They show you exactly where the core is, and the inner core, and the outer core, and the mantle. All of this is shown to you with precise miles as if it is a fact. The Earth's inner structure and composition are studied via seismology. In seismology, scientists study the resultant waves produced by earthquakes or other sources to learn about what's under our feet. However, seismology is not exclusive to the Earth's core studies, as oil, gas, and mineral exploration also heavily rely on seismic studies to learn where to dig. It is an exciting and profitable field of scientific research. But it turns out that this is just another scientific theory, just like the theory of evolution and the theory of gravity, which is actually the theory of relativity. All of these things that you believe in as a supporter of science, it turns out what you believe in is all fairy tales and myth. Or I suppose a better way to put it would be what you believe in is science fiction. Whoa, sci-fi! Now look, I know there's plenty of sciences that is actually good for us, like the technical science and everything, but just because science shows you some tricks and stuff doesn't mean that you're supposed to believe all of their theories. In fact, most people forget that a lot of these science hypotheses are actually theories. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. It will always baffle my mind how easily people will shit talk science while using a magical box that plugs into a wall and reproduces any sound or image you could ever want to see with just a few clicks on a rectangular shaped board. It works, bitches. And so it turns out that scientists and explorers have only accomplished exploring beneath the earth no more than eight miles. Nobody has ever reached nine miles beneath the earth. The scientist community insists that they know exactly what's going on underneath the earth that we walk on. They're saying that they have everything mapped out right down to 4,000 miles beneath us when eight miles is not even a fraction of what they insist they know. You don't need to dig a hole in the earth to learn new things about the earth. That's the point of geology and studying it. Science has moved beyond the Beverly Hillbillies. And so the core of the earth and everything we know about what is mapped beneath our feet must be dismissed and is now null and void. There's gotta be a better way! I'm going to go into some serious information in this video and so let us begin. Fuck yeah! Right. Even Hollywood must really know what's going on beneath eight miles underneath our feet because there was even a Hollywood movie release called Nine Miles Down. Nine miles down, deliver us from evil. And I never actually watched the entire movie, but I watched enough of it to know that they're saying that some type of hellish conditions exist beneath the eighth mile, which would be the ninth mile. The ninth mile is a place that no man has ever saw beneath the earth. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> the reason no one has dug deeper than the cola super deep is simple. There is no reason to. The Kola Super Deep answered the question of feasibility. The deeper you go, the harder it gets. Eventually it gets too hot for drilling, so you have to stop. There was a debate as to how hot it would get, and now we know the answer. And so the US began with the Mohole Project in the spring of 1961. This was just three years after NASA was created in order to hide flat earth. Project Mohole started development in 1957, before Sputnik was launched and propelled the formation of NASA. Drilling for this project did not start in 1961. And so three years after NASA was formed, they started digging beneath the earth. But due to a lack of funding, they abandoned the project after about five years. The project was halted in 1966 due to cost concerns from Congress. However, the first phase of the project was considered a success 
improved the viability of deep sea drilling. And so this project was handed off to the Russians as they attempted to drill beneath the earth. And so Russia was now in the driver's seat when it came to digging beneath the earth. Russia and the U.S. were not cooperating on drilling projects. They were competing. I could not find any evidence of shared data or techniques. If anything, this was the Earth science equivalent of the space race. And so this Kola Borehole project lasted from around 1970 to around 1983. Drilling stopped in 1994, not 1983. And they had an ultimate goal of reaching around 9.3 miles beneath the Earth. But the thing was, when they got to around 7 miles, they started having difficulty. The Kola team stopped drilling in the mid-80s because the drill broke and it took a while to fix it. In case you were unaware, the Soviet Union wasn't exactly overflowing with money in the mid-80s. Now there's reports that they were running into lots of water, and I have evidence that I'm going to share with you that there's possible hard water underneath the Earth that's impenetrable, which sounds a lot like the dome firmament. In fact, during a press conference in 1984, the COLA science team admitted that this project proves that we don't know anything about the continental crust beneath the Earth. There is absolutely no evidence of Earth beyond 8 miles. And these COLA scientists had another quote where they said, It seemed as if the Earth does not want to reveal its secrets. I could not find any evidence of the team holding a conference or of any of the team members saying the lines Feed Your Mind is quoting. Either Feed Your Mind is lying to us, or he really should produce his sources. And so the drilling officially stopped around 1992, and the drills were not able to operate, especially because there was reports of temperatures being up to 356 degrees. I've even heard reports of scientists getting concerned by strange sounds once they got down that far as well. And there's even audio of some screaming that claim that this audio was real. You know, it could be. Feed Your Mind is playing the famous Well to Hell audio clip. This sound clip is a well-known hoax that even fooled a famous Christian TV channel into thinking it was real. Honestly, it takes only the slightest bit of critical thinking to realize these sounds are fake. Who the hell owns a seven mile long microphone cable? Do you not think Satan would notice a boom mic popping out of his roof? Here on level one of robot hell. And so there's definitely something going on beneath the earth. And we're going to get into more details about all of this in, in a few more videos I have on the way. You just blew my mind. Not only can man-made drills not make it beyond eight miles, but also the deepest cave in the world seems to be capped out at only about 1.3 miles down. I'm having a hard time following the logic here. So since we do not have cave systems going through the center of the earth, there must be a impenetrable layer blocking it. But we've dug deeper these cave systems we obviously know there is no layer blocking their expansion. And so this brings us to the deepest ocean exploration ever. And this is where it gets interesting because none other than James Cameron was the one who was able to break the record. Music on! His name is James! Cameron. The bravest pioneer! And so it is said that James Cameron broke the world record by reaching a maximum of 6.8 miles underneath the oceans. Don't smother your kids. And so we have about 1.5 miles in the cave systems, about 8 miles in the drill systems, and about 7 miles beneath the oceans. So all of this says that we can definitely dismiss that we know anything going on beneath 8 miles underneath the earth. So I assume we are just going to throw out the decades of research done across many disciplines of science into the interior of the Earth. All that is now garbage. Lies. Defunct. Is no more. It has ceased to be. We're going to go into more detail about Beneath the Earth in some upcoming videos.